If you want to sell your home fast and at a top price, you're looking at the right video. Hi, I'm Mike Patel with First Team Real Estate and Christie's International Real Estate, right here in Anaheim Hills, serving North Orange County and most of Orange County. This year in 2021, all the homes that I've sold personally, I have sold anywhere from three to 7% over the list price. And usually if it's my listing, I've sold it within seven to 10 days where the normal market is. Whereas in a normal market, it takes about 17 to 25 days to sell a home that's priced right. So in this video, I'm going to give you five tips and secrets to sell your home fast and with the least hassle and also to make the most money out of it. So let's get into it. By the way, if you stick around, I also have a bonus tip. So please watch towards the end. So tip number one is I'm going to talk about the three D's very briefly. So what are the three D's when it comes to selling your home? The number one D is to declutter. Because we live in a house, we have so many things in there and we don't want to show too many things to the sellers when they come in the house. So we want to declutter. The second thing or the second D is to depersonalize. If you have any personal pictures, religious pictures or any other pictures that are not too personal to the buyers when they come in the house, we want to take them out and pack them. You're going to take it out anyways when you sell the home. So might as well depersonalize right now. And the third D when it comes to place towards the end of your house preparation is to make sure to deep clean the house before you take the pictures and before you put it on the market. By decluttering, depersonalizing and deep cleaning, when buyers come in the house, they feel very refreshed to see the house. Hopefully the house smells real nice and they see a lot of space. Buyers buy space in the house. That's one of the keys to remember. Tip number two, when preparing to put your house up for sale is to make minor improvements. Because we live in the house, whether you've been there for two years, 20 years, 30 years, or five years, little things develop and we don't see with our normal eyes because we see it every day. So if you have little faucet leaks or minor stains on the walls, chips in the walls, screens are broken, little things like that, you should fix it up. It really helps because the buyers, when they look at it, they don't want to do all that. They feel like the house is not in a great condition. So by doing little things like this, your house will look quote, like a model home. Also, you may be want to be cautious about remodeling your house unless you need to. You don't want to remodel because that takes a lot away from the house and the money you put in, you may not get back. Or if you remodel, they may not like the colors and your choices. So leave the remodeling for the next buyer and save that money fixing it up and remodeling. By the way, if you're new to my channel or if you're regular, I would appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel. This may be a good time. And also if you can share or make any comments, that'll really help my channel grow. And also let me know what you would like to see so I can put those kind of videos up for you. Tip number three is what we call curb appeal. This is a very important tip. Curb appeal is the first thing that they're gonna see outside your house. When people look at your pictures or if the buyers drive by, they're going to look at your house from the outside and judge right away if they like your house or if you don't like your house. So when it comes to curb appeal, you want to make sure the windows are nice, the drapes from inside look good. Uh, if there's any windows chipped or broken, you may want to fix it up. Take care of your shrubberies if you have any rocks, any de decoration, lamps, anything in the front that makes a first impression, you want to take care of it. And if you don't have plants and shrubs and colors, depending on the time of the year and where you are, you may want to add those. A lot of the sellers that I work with, they go to Home Depot and get a whole bunch of colored plants and put it in front of the trees before the pictures or before putting it on the market. It adds a lot of value. You may be spending $100, $200 only for plants and shrubs, but it may get you more dollars. So there's a big rate of return on curb appeal. Similar things in the back of the yard, if you have dry yard or bushes or trees that have been there for years and years and not been trimmed or your screen's broken or the patio needs some work or you have a fountain that's not working, little things like that, you want to fix it up because those things are very important when it comes for the buyers to purchase a home. Curb appeal goes a long way. 
The fourth tip I'm gonna give you is while you're doing this work and hopefully you're talking to an agent, you can feel free to call me, I'll give you a price on your home. When it comes to time to sell your home, you want to price it right. Don't price it way over the price and don't price it way low, you wanna price it right. I'm sure you have access to all those online data so you can get your comps from there. The best thing is talk to a local expert and get a price right because pricing your house right will sell it within seven to 10 days in this hot market. Normal time is 17 to 25 days if it's priced right. So pricing it right is very important. Also to let you know, even though, and even in this hot market and in a normal market, of all the homes that are listed in the multiple listing service of which I'm a member, anywhere from 30 to 40% of all the homes don't sell. And the number one reason why these homes don't sell is because of the price. So if you want to sell fast, whether you're moving somewhere or you don't want to drag selling your home for three or five or six, seven months, you want to price it right. Otherwise, it'll sit on the market and the longer it takes to sell, the lower the price you get or eventually it'll not sell and your listing will be what we call a cancel or an expired listing, which means it did not sell. The next tip I want to give you is a combination of taking great pictures and pre-marketing your property. So after you declutterize and depersonalize and have your curb appeal and make all those improvements you are ready to put in the market. You want to take great pictures, great videos, drone pictures, virtual tours, because it's very important in today's market. Buyers go online, whether it's two o'clock at night or six in the morning or lunchtime, they're going to look at homes for sale online. If they don't like the pictures or the videos or the inside tour, they may not even see your house. They may look at another house and skip your house, even though your house may be a great house, but the pictures did not do it justice. So so great pictures and great videos are very important. Not only that, social media today plays a big part in exposing your homes for sale. So a lot of the agents like myself put it on all kinds of social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. So your pictures and photos are very critical. And the second thing about pre-marketing is before you put your house officially on the market, and before you start showing your first showing, you wanna do a lot of pre-marketing. Your agents will take care of that. Do a coming soon and pre-market advertising. So the weekend you have an open house, either Saturday, Sunday, or just one day, you are creating a buzz. You are making the buyers wait for your home. It's a beautiful home, freshly painted or freshly curb appealed, ready to go. When they come in the house, they're gonna like your house, they're gonna like the price, and they're gonna make an offer. Hopefully with so many people coming in, you should get five, 10, three offers and it'll guarantee to sell over list price. So pre-marketing and photography goes a long way. As promised, I'm gonna give you the bonus tip, but before I give you the bonus tip, I want to remind you that at the end of this video, there's another video that you may wanna take a look at. I talk about the $25,000 mistake you don't wanna make when selling a home. So the bonus tip is, one of the things you might wanna do or consider highly is to stage your home. Even though you may have great furniture and your house looks good, bringing in a professional stager and staging your home, on average, according to the National Association of Realtors, you will get 17% more more than a house that is not staged and it'll also sell it much faster than a house that is not staged. So as a bonus tip, you may want to consider staging. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.